It's Tom and Todd's Face Off on WRKO.com. All right, we're in the midst of a heat wave. It's always we're hot here. Heat wave. At Tom and Todd, WRKO.com. Barack Obama and Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli premier, met yesterday. Obama spoke of the unbreakable bond with Israel. Strange. That doesn't sound like his previous rhetoric, does it? Oh, the Netanyahu-Obama big meeting in the White House and all the rest of that stuff. This is a whole new script that's being rolled out. Uh, t the, the relationship with Israel has been very, very tense. A lot of people thinking that Obama is uh, breaking a long line of policy that we've had with Israel. And I think he's, uh, I think he's scrambling. This is a kiss and make up kind of routine uh, pra as practiced by Barack Obama. It's all a ruse, as is everything that Barack Obama does. And this ruse is designed to, to maybe give some uh, pro-Israel and Jewish voters in this country and Zionist voters in this country something to hang their hats on so that they don't face up to the reality that Barack Obama is anti-Israel. And Israel is, has been such a steadfast ally in the most volatile region in the whole world. Why anybody would play with that in order to get the applause of academics or whomever else's approbation he seeks is beyond. Because Barack Obama is about redistribution of wealth and political power. He wants to take what Israel has and give it to the Palestinians. Senate candidate Sharon Engel mouthed off about voters possibly exercising their Second Amendment rights if they don't get the results they want in November. Is she, uh, well, is she a nut? Sharon Engel said some things that were kind of outrageous or bordering on outrageous when she was a fringe candidate. That's what you do when you're on the fringe. You can say fringy things nobody cares because you're talking to your own little bubble of people. Then suddenly she explodes onto the scene. She becomes the Republican nominee for Senate against Harry Reid in Nevada, and voila, she's in trouble as the videotape comes back to haunt her. Yeah, the question is she a nut, I'm not quite sure, but Second Amendment remedies, you interpret that and you think, oh my God, she wants to have us go back. Is that she like baby to... aspirin? Yeah, well, not quite. Second Amendment remedies might be like what we see in Somalia. Hey, you don't like what's going on, take out a gun and go and visit your local rep. Uh, this is kind of crazy stuff. Uh, you I know, think they at, call that going to the store in Somalia. At the, yeah, at the same time, it's the type that, the, this language, this, these words, and the reaction it gets, it makes our political candidates more and more bland, more and more vanilla, you more think and more too predictable. Bland? Uh, this will intimidate her, so she becomes oh, bland, yeah, well. vanilla. We'll say so she's going to be ripped to shreds over. whatsoever. Vice President Joe Biden said after a three-day trip to Baghdad that the American people will see Barack Obama's Iraq policy as a success. He also said George W. Bush will get some of the credit. Is this another case of foot in mouth again for the VP? Biden has a habit of doing that, but in this case, no. Uh, I think he was just doing what is obvious to everybody, that the George Bush surge worked better than he, Joe Biden, or Barack Obama, or anybody else predicted that it worked and it's worked well, and now Barack Obama's starting to wind things down in Iraq on the same timetable that George Bush had. Yeah. Barack Obama has done such a great job in Iraq, and <laughs> Joe Biden wants him to get full credit. Joe Biden didn't put his foot in his mouth. He starts with it there, that's where he keeps it, and then he took it out for a second and then put it back in. That's how he operates. He's a nut. Joe Biden is a nut. It's Tom and Todd's Face Off, WRKO.com.